Any Are chance that they leaked? One bullet to the head deals with them. Yeah, and they have secret police. Oh, yeah. So, this is a military state born, I don't want to get too deeply into this history, 12, but Germany is a new kid on the block with, with a lot of power. They've industrialized. They have more power than England in industrial production at this time, but they don't have any empire, or very little. And it's because they were new in Europe. They were recently united. Yes? Where did they come from? Good question. <sighs> to explain... What in Germany is traditionally the battleground. Napoleon fought in Germany. Everybody seems to like the Thirty Years' War was fought in Germany. Germany, as a result, becomes extremely militaristic. Okay, they don't like being the battleground, and the, everybody speaks German. And the Germans also have a very there's a large large uh, there's two two veins. One is free speech. A lot of the free thinkers. Martin Luther was a was a German. Uh, free thinkers, a lot of the philosophers are German, there's the German philosophers, so there's the free thinkers, and then there's also the nationalists. Very strong nationalists. They've never had their own real country. So like what... So this guy about? from Prussia, which is this area here, which fought against Napoleon, eventually his, uh, there's a guy that starts to get born who creates the German Empire. His name is Bismarck, the very guy who talked about the school system. Very smart guy, and he allies himself with all the little principalities of Germany, and, and creates a country. So Germany and Prussia... Germany was... Became... Prussia expanded. But so there, there was Germany, which is kind of small and not very... It was called Prussia. But Prussia itself is a German-speaking country, a little principality, that expanded to say, let's make an alliance, guys, because we all speak German, we're all the same nation, and that's uh, as a result of the Enlightenment. So it happened in the 19th century. So country that doesn't exist anymore, it became Germany. Okay. Like Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg yeah, and all those places. This is in the, 1900, in the 1800s, in the early 1800s, okay? So just after Napoleon. As a result, these guys are new on the block, and they just, and this guy, the Kaiser, who's, who's the second son of a guy who was pretty smart, is not very smart. And he wants to rule, and it's an old archaic system, this kingdom. A kingdom is an archaic system, it doesn't work as well, and he's dealing with the, a very, very modern state. So he's at the head of a very modern, industrialized, powerful country. So when he says, let's build a navy, you're talking about the German engineering. They build the best navy. Now, who's that's going to scare? The English. the English. Who has to have a navy because they're, na they're an island nation. If Germany gets a navy and England has, with great ships, England's definitely a threat because their empire is their main source of income. Canada, India, the world's, you know, it's their empire. Germany needs an empire, England has an empire, they're going to be enemies. Oh, crap. Why did they do that? England, Germany, Germany, well, the Kaiser read a guy named Bill Mahan. I don't want to get, this is history 12, okay? I don't really want to get too deeply into this, it'll confuse you. The point I'm trying to make is, Germany has a plan to deal with its supposed two-front war. And it could have done it. But it fails for some pretty important reasons. Wait. The Schlieffen plan. Okay. This was to fight two fronts. Two fronts, that's right. Then this against Russia and basically flank the French. So the idea is they're holding off the Russians defensively, and they're attacking, they're going to knock the French out of the war and then turn their full force against the Russians. That's their plan. Okay? Why? So they fight France because France is allied with, with Russia. Russia yeah. and then they fight Russia because Russia is Russia. Yes. Wait. Well, <laughs> okay. this, is not the, the, not the declaration. this is how to win the war not how de to declare war. What I began with is what happens in the declaration of war. Austria declares war basically on Serbia, Russia declares war on Austria-Hungary, Germany declares war on Russia, France declares war on Germany. Now, these are the countries at war. Fr Russia and France are initially at war with Germany and Austria-Hungary, and Austria-Hungary is at war with Serbia. So that's the beginning. But the Schlieffen Plan goes into play. As soon as that happens, Schlieffen Plan. We've got a plan to deal with this situation. No, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. So the German army, which doesn't have the guts to let French occupy the south. That's the first thing. So they don't, it's really hard. You have to let French into your homes. You have to, like, you have to, you have to weaken your own troops and let your own men die. They put, the, they put a lot of strength in the south. First mistake. Second mistake, the Russians actually mobilize pretty quickly and they win a battle against the German army. So now the German army, there's the Russians in Prussia. Wait, are you talking about Schlieffen This is what plan actually happens. Down? The Schlieffen plan problems. Sure. Okay, one, one two, I'll put three or four of them down. This is why it doesn't right. work. So three one and four. Was that they were one, two, 
is that the German, German South Front, if you want to call it, South, was too strong. They couldn't let the French in. You but have to sucker to sucker the punch, sucker punch means you have to sort of you have to let them take a little but bit. But they wanted the French to come in. They wanted so the they French so, so they could attack behind the French. The idea is you want to get you want to stab someone in the back, not the front. It's too hard. They'll defend against the front. It's hard. It's easy if you stab in the back. That's what it's all about strategic advantage. That's what war is about. Anyway, so they couldn't they didn't do that first of all. So they left the the, the south front was too strong. And remember, the advantage is not with the attacker, it's with the defender. And so the French, when they attacked, were beaten back. Yes. And, right. So as a result of this assault being strong, they basically the French didn't advance at all. Right. Which meant that their army was fairly close to Belgium as it, as it began. So I'll explain what that so means. happens later. German were too strong. And Second, the, were the Russians back. were advancing into Prussia. I thought Prussia was Germany. That's what I'm talking about, a part of Germany. Okay? okay. So here's what's the, they were supposed to hold them off, right? But they were losing. Because that, because that, that they, was too weak? Right. The, the, what front is that? That's the east front, if you call it. Front, east front. Now, this, the third reason is because when they invade Belgium, there's a neutrality act between Belgium and England. Now who's in the war? England. England. So England comes into the war with... So the, what's called the BEF, the British Expeditionary Force, and the Belgians. The Belgian army itself is, is, is not much to speak of. They've got a few fortresses that are hard to take, but there's like little nuts that you can crack with a nutcracker. Well, artillery will do a good job on those things. Um, BEF and Belgians, slow... Wait, what's the BEF for? I can't see it all because... The, 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 the British Expeditionary Force and the Belgians slow the German army. The British Expeditionary Force. Canadians are not... It's okay. It's okay. Just for now. He's, he needs a place to sit. He didn't, he didn't put his desk on the far, far side. He wants a place to see. You could also move right there. But I'm okay. British Expeditionary Force. They quickly shuffle the boats right there into Belgium and slow the advance of the Germans. So now, there begins a strange little race. It's called the Race to the Sea. Um, okay, and the French, the French were able to, the French, the last one is the French counter at the Battle of the Marne, first Battle of the Marne, counterattack. But doesn't that... And there's another reason that I'm not going to get to, um, oh yeah, the, the German army is, German, we'll call it wings, you know what I mean by wing? No. no. Okay, this is supposed to be a wing, okay, so it like goes around behind, it's a wing, it's, it's supposed to flank, but they, they... What happens is they can't, they can't, it takes an awful lot of guts to do this maneuver, okay? You're advancing into enemy territory, you don't know who's on your left, you don't know who's on your right, you're just told to advance. And if you follow the orders, you'll probably work out and it'll be behind the enemy. But one of the generals says, oh, this is, I can't do this, I don't know where my, I don't know my flank, I don't know my other flank, I'm going to join up with my other army. And they change the angle so that they're not behind the French army anymore. They're facing a frontal attack on the French. So this is, it takes an awful lot of guts to do this. You have to go in the middle of nowhere in enemy land. So the German wing... It changed. It out. fails. closes, let's say it closes the gap between the armies. Yeah. This is something you don't need to know for the exam, but I need you to understand that the Schlieffen plan fails because it takes an awful lot of guts to, to follow through on this plan, and it didn't work. As a result, there's a French counterattack, and, it, and it, it begins what's called the race to the sea. And the beginning, in 1914, of what kind of warfare? Okay. Modern. Because here's what's happening. If you're advancing with your men like this, you're advancing, and they're cutting you down with machine guns. So you've got tons of our, like metal just going like this. What's the only way to protect yourself? A shield. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. Now the bullets are flying over your head. They're not hitting you. And what you do is you dig. The, so the, what these guys did is they made a trench warfare system from Switzerland all the way through both sides. Yeah. From Switzerland all the way to the to the to the English Channel, so that a little bit of Belgium was still 